Being involved in First Star to me just means being a part of a greater community and um, really helping other people in any way that I can. That is the main reason why I'm here at First Star and it's also the reason why I'm going into teaching. Definitely feels like a family and we have like group chats and we have online meetings and study halls and things like that. It's more than just like a school thing in my, like in my head it's more of like I know I could come to these people as family to like for advice and for help for anything if I need any type of resource, which I really appreciate. It kind of gave me that spark of like, I can actually be something if I really wanted to, if I was determined enough, I can try and be successful. First Start is a college academic program for youth who have experienced foster care. Um, and so we work with youth who are in high school from ninth grade to 12th grade and we work with them um, by providing academic support predominantly, but also providing life skills um, workshops for our students and caregiver engagement. It's been one of like my best experiences throughout like middle school and high school because again, I, I go to high school and at first start, there's people who are like older than you, younger than you in college. Uh, I love interacting with the youth coaches and people that are older than me. So with first star, uh, what I do is I'm a peer mentor. So that is going to involve around uh, mentoring the uh, scholars within our program uh, uh, from a foster care background. And we're really seeking to help them move on and transition into university. So we're trying to help them achieve those goals in any way possible that we can. Being able to give back and uh, give someone that resource that I may not have had is definitely very impactful and very great. Being able to bond over things like that and gives us the chance of bonding is so exciting and so fun because I love, I love being with people considering I'm very introverted and I love trying new things and seeing how people can what is, relate to each other is, it's lovely. <laughs> Having mentors is a really good way to succeed and that's kind of what we do, we help them succeed. And we also provide a, uh, just an, uh, an avenue for them just to communicate any thoughts that they might have, you know, uh, throughout their high school journey. You know, it's a complex one. My overall favorite part, I think, has to be just like the free time we have. And during like the summer academy, we have free time in which we have like scheduled activities where we can go swimming or go to the gym and things like that. And something we could all come together and do things rather than just learning and being like in a school setting, which I really enjoy. Over this summer, we went virtual for the first time. And one of the things we decided to start doing is offering possible college credit classes. So after them going to that virtual study hall, a lot of them came out with college credit. And that was really great to see and really rewarding for me to do and help with because giving them that sort of material credit that will help with their education was um, pretty, really, really cool to see, so yeah. My favorite part of the program has been meeting new people. Like I said, I love doing new things and stuff, and although I am a very shy person, this was able to help me meet new people, get out of my comfort shell, and like, be involved with different communities. Obviously when I was in foster care I had like a social work and I had a therapist and I had a lot of people helping me and I didn't really understand that before. I didn't know that there was people who could help you in those types of situations in those ways and I really appreciated the support and help that I got. I fortunately was like really lucky and I had people who genuinely cared about me. I had some friends in foster care I noticed that didn't have that type of support whether it be like emotionally or just like the support they needed to be adopted or just go through the foster care without any problem and I in, in some ways felt bad for them and I was like I think everyone should have that support and it's something that I'm really passionate about and I want to be able to help others. It means a lot to me honestly it's something very important and I hold really dearly. Um, it's like a second family in a sense. Uh, it helped me a lot with school and with motivation to college, that family bond that sometimes some of us don't get and just it's exciting and it's fun and it's loving and caring and comfortable. Many of our students want to do something after high school, they want to go to college, but they think it's impossible. So when we come together as a community and support those students, it makes a great impact in them wanting to continue to do more because they know they have someone who they can trust, who they can come to for questions. If I were to talk to a student that's currently in eighth, ninth, tenth grade, uh, who has experience in the foster care system that thinks that going to college is impossible, what I would say to them would be, um, 
Your past doesn't define you. And uh, college is a way to forge your path to the future. There is help for you. It's not impossible. And to me, that is amazing. Yeah. <laughs>